There are going to be some more demons on the way though, I believe. Just a couple? Couple, I think. Long sword. Immolated, because he was firing fire at us before he even spawned properly. There's an invisible wall behind them there, so be careful of that. Destroyed. Just here? Yes. The second fountain is restored. The gates to the temple courtyard have opened. Hurrah! I expected the water dragon to appear again. It is difficult for her to make her presence felt, even here in the spirit realm. When Dirge fell, her very essence was corrupted. Then we had better make haste. The power of the water dragon is divine. Any mortal touched by it would be instantly consumed. However, the Emperor found a way to corrupt the Divine Power. Or we could just stand here talking, I guess. The immortal purity of the water dragon was befouled by human blood spilled in the fountains. Her power was tainted, allowing the Emperor, the mortal, to seize it as his own. Pay no attention to how that waterfall sound doesn't loop. I can't believe a little blood could do so much. For a mortal, blood is life. The sacrifice of blood can have great power, even over the gods. But now is not the time for this discussion. Indeed. The gates are open now. We can make our way through the temple courtyard to the temple itself. Inside the temple, you can complete the restoration of Dirge. Good. Let's do it. Another 3000 XP. To the temple summit. Here we are. First let's go this way. There are a couple of red ministers up here. Some regular ghosts though first. Stop blocking. These are the ones that fire out the back of their heads. It's very unfair. Oh, you want to avoid getting hit, do you? <laughs> Good luck! And that can turn corners as well. How are you supposed to avoid that? It can turn corners. And they can fire it... from any angle. Here's a red minister. Oh, instant instantly AoE. Let's take this boy down first. I don't know if these can be harmonic combos. I doubt it. Oh. Freed immediately. Not for God's sake. Yeah, let's not bother with that. It's not going to happen. Ooh, that just missed me. Ooh. I think we AoE'd at the same time and it cancelled without. Maybe? Oof. Die. Thank you. Nope, cannot be home on the combo. It's fine. And that is it. Just purged those.
Let's progress to the main courtyard. The place that we saw in the cutscenes. With the stairs. The second fountain is restored, and for this, I thank you. But from this point on, Abbot Song cannot travel with you. He must lead his fellows from their cursed existence. Oh no, our OP friend. Great mistress, I have tried to lead them, to free them. But they will not listen to me. They cannot even see me. Let me continue on and redeem myself for this failure. You suffer doubt in defeat, but you are strengthened by the actions of this spirit monk. Go. Lead your fellows to victory and rest. Your path does not lie in the temple. Yes, great mistress, it is all so clear now. I will do as you say, and the spirit monks shall avenge the great slaughter of twenty years ago. Good luck, friend. Will the other spirits really listen to him now? Abbot's song has done all he can for us. For too long he has been apart from his brethren. Now he can finally join them, though their ultimate victory will be up to you. A great evil awaits, and only you have the power to defeat it. Destroy the creature corrupting my temple, do this, and the restoration of Dirge will be complete. And then you'll bring me back to life? With Dirge restored, a great portion of my power will return. I will be able to grant rest to my loyal servants, and help you back to the land of the living. But beware. The true corruption of Dirge rests in the temple, where Emperor Sun Hai struck me down. That desecration drew terrible things to Dirge, beings not part of the natural order. The evil being we encountered. An abomination has gorged itself for two decades on the pain and suffering released with my murder. Twenty years growing strong, feasting on the death of a god. I will cleanse this abomination from your temple. I cannot aid you in this battle. The very taint that feeds your enemy keeps me from entering. Destroy it. Cleanse my temple, and I will speak with you inside. I will do as you ask. You cannot join this battle. Your destiny lies in the temple at the top of the stairs. Here are the stairs where the Emperor and his brothers attacked 20 years ago. To the temple. Here we are. And here we will encounter the evil we spoke to. And it manifests in the form of us. Three of us. Now this is quite a challenging fight. Not too hard, if you have Storm Dragon and the Long Sword. Storm Dragon, of course, extremely useful, again, for crowd control. Especially considering some of these are ranged. The ice one and the fire one. Oof. Didn't manage to cancel that before I shocked him. Bit bullshit. No, you don't. Okay, in the middle of you. And there's one. Did I get them both? No. That's okay. Storm Dragon. Uh. 
to get both of you. So good. Storm Dragon. Storm Dragon plus Longsword is is very, very good. You can completely cheese bosses with it as well. I'll show you on the next boss. Because the next boss, we will be able to use Storm Dragon and the Longsword. So, uh... <laughs> I will just perma stun him. I will just perma stun him with with this because you can do that. Look, storm dragon and longsword and storm dragon longsword. It's a bit good. The taint is destroyed. My temple is cleansed. Dirge is restored. After 20 years, my spirit may once more return to my temple. Success! It was an honor to serve, great mistress. Your loyalty is noble. Your service appreciated. You show the humble traits of a true spirit monk. But there is still much to do. Of course there is. I can act now, but not for long. Sun Li will soon command all of my power. To complete my restoration, you must return to the mortal world. Find my body, and destroy it. Destroy your body? I don't understand. Sun Hai devoured my heart, but he needed time to siphon my power. He kept my body from dying. Trapped between life and death, held like a trophy in his Imperial Palace. That was how he ended the drought. You must find my body and kill it, so that when you defeat your former master, my power is free to dissipate. Until then, I cannot be reborn. Very well, I will do this. And what about Lee? Be prepared. Sun Li will not fall as easily as his brother. The Emperor had to proceed slowly. Sun Li has used the amulet to take much more power far more quickly. He has grown so strong that he cannot be defeated while my body still lives. Not even by you. You must find my body in the palace and destroy it before you face him. Okay. I understand. I'm ready to return to life. I am the Shepherd of the Dead. I can restore your life, though the act will drain me of what little power I reclaimed, and may expose you to even more danger. That's fine. I'm sure I can deal with it. The maddened spirits that swarm this realm hunger for passage anywhere. I will not be able to stop them following you, but there is no other way. Remember, Find my body in the palace and destroy it, or you will not be able to defeat Sun Li. Enter the portal. I return to you the life that was so wrongly taken. Alright, everyone calm down. We managed to lose them, but we'll have to stay out of sight for a while. But what can we do now? The last hope for the Empire died in the palace. I don't know. We'll think of something. For now, we have to make sure we survive. All is not lost. Hear me. We must go to Dirge. 
What? Why? We must go to Dirge quickly. There's no time to explain. We're alive, and our friends are on their way, but we're not safe quite yet. You live, but the portal was not sealed quickly enough. Defeat the maddened creatures that have followed you, or your life will once again be undone. It's just some horse demons, though. What you need to do is destroy that glowing thing. These will continue to spawn. You can't destroy that all in one go, though, as you can see. Let's just take care of this guy. Any ones that are still alive will just disappear when you destroy it. And it's gone. Seek your fellows. They know about your awakening and are on their way to the shelter of Dirge. Hurry. Others will find you soon enough. We're alive! And here is actual Dirge. Real life Dirge. We have a bit of peace for now. Let's have a look around. There are two statues here. There is a statue of Ma Sung which is essentially a spirit font. So let's get our spirit back. There's another one up here, which looks very much like Chai Ka. It's a shrine to the Heavenly Gate Guardians, just like Chai Ka. And this is a focus shrine. They can also be used for something else though. Related to this book stand, the Mantra of Inspiration. And we receive that. Let's go into our plot items. There it is. This tells you how to properly focus upon the mantra of inspiration. But we need to find more pages to be able to do it properly. And we will get a technique from that. We did level up again. Let's um, do the same as before. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That'll do, that'll do. Now, pages. There are some bones. Well, let's get this chest. It wants us to get the chest. 156 silver. 100 silver. And page one. From the Tomb of Release. Mm-hmm. -hmm. Let's go, oh, here first. This is another technique, I believe. Replenishment of the mind. There are three techniques that you can get here. Chi plus seven and focus plus seven. Very good. We can look out over the mountains a little bit here. It's pretty cool. All very Tibetan inspired, this. Now down here, of course, in the cutscenes, this is where the spirit monk, our spirit monk guardian, took us as a baby. And he fled down this well. But the contraption... We can't seem to open it. The secret must have died with the spirit monks. We can ignore that. There is a chest here, though. Machined cogs. This is one of two things we need for one of the techniques. This is separate to the pages. This here is the Journal of Abbot Song. He just talks about acolytes discovering the secret path at the bottom of the well. That's what we just looked at. This other technique is to do with these meditation wheels. We need to fix as many of them as possible before we meditate on them. 
don't want to interact with them yet because we've only got one piece. You need to find two pieces. You can actually do it with just the cogs, but the technique you get is not as good as if you get both of them. Let's leave. That's all the pages in there, I believe. Some ghosts here that we will fight before a cutscene. Spirits of Imperial Soldiers? They are not at peace yet. The spirit monks are. But this book will allow us to put these at peace. Chapter 6, wherein a friend is returned to the living. Dirge is under siege once more, and the fate of Death's Hand is sealed. Restoring the Fountains of Dirge has allowed the Water Dragon to grant you a second chance at life. Your followers now rush to be at your side, but Sun Lee also moves. He knows the threat a spirit monk poses. Here, at the ruins of Dirge, history will repeat itself in spectacular fashion. Good! Our friends are here, and they will find that we are alive. There is page number two. Out of five. There are some ghosts here, guarding another page. Just the same kind of guards again. Super easy. go. Three out of five. The final page is behind where our companions are, so we will need to see them first before we can get that. Page number four is just here on these bones. Roll into you to stun you and then destroy you. And is the way to defeat Spear, guys. Good bones. Beveled Cogs. That's the second piece for the meditation wheels. And the fourth page. Down there are the gates to the lower part, but you can't go down there. Let's go and meet up with our friends. here alive we we thought you were dead and then i had visions of the strangest things dawnstar guided us to this place but i expected a ghost not flesh and blood the water dragon returned me to life oh you walk in the parks of many gods i will build something extra large to explode with my surprise we're a bit of a big deal. It weakened her greatly. I must try to set things right. Such creatures are not accustomed to needing assistance or being called on to assist. Both circumstances would likely annoy them. As annoyances go, I think ours is more pressing. Or have you all forgotten the entire army of the Aberrant? The army? The Imperial army is coming? 
Mo yo wir apafui ir sir si sitsu to wir ok pi ir okir ifuir wo. Your former master, my uncle, has taken the Jade Empire as his own. Emperor Sun Li has set the whole of his forces against us, and we are trapped here in Dirge. Why would he send the whole army against us? After you defeated my... my father, and Li struck you down, he claimed both your amulet and the heart of the Water Dragon and announced that his rule had begun. The Lotus Assassins were his almost immediately. Your amulet must have allowed him to quickly do what it took my father years to accomplish. This is bad news. The Water Dragon told me it was a powerful focusing tool. We had no choice but to flee. In the days after, the new Emperor did not seem overly concerned with capturing us, and we did not know where to go. He didn't consider us a threat. We had no way of fighting him. Just as with Sun High, only a spirit monk can face him with hope of success. That's why we came here. Dawnstar's vision seemed impossible, but any hope was better than none. Unfortunately, Emperor Sun Li sensed your stirrings in the spirit realm as well, and now we are trapped. Hmm. Is there no way of avoiding them? Sneaking? Flight? Only one path is passable by foot, and that is the route they are coming up. We cannot sneak past such a horde. My marvelous dragonfly will not survive the passage either. The winds force a certain path, and the army's flyers are guarding it well. But that is our luck, as well as our sorrow. Their inferior flyers can barely stay aloft in such currents. They will not overrun us from the air, at least not in numbers. Well, that's good news at least. Then we will raise our defenses here, and come what may. We have a little time. They are still at the base of the mountain. I'd say the main force won't be here until tomorrow. We will start securing the temple. The great gates of this place will grant us some valuable time. At least they will not take us by surprise. Good. Fortifications. Hmm. Perhaps I will remove some of the ordnance from the marvelous dragonfly. Properly applied, it may prove useful tomorrow. Come, Whirlwind. I need your muscle. That's the Black Whirlwind. And as long as it makes the coming fight more interesting, I'll lift whatever you want. That is all we can do for now. Tomorrow we'll decide our fates. We should all get some rest. But if I could have a word with you when the others have gone, I need to speak with you. Of course. I'm going to make her wait a little bit, though. Just a little bit. Because the last bones are here. There we go. A thousand XP from that as well. Now let's have a look. Plot items. Now that you have fully assembled the Tome of Release, you know how to perform a ritual that would lift the curse from the spirits of the last few Imperial Army soldiers. It must be performed at the shrine dedicated to Ma Sung. Excellent. And we definitely should not do it at the Heavenly Gate Guardian one. So let's just um, hop past Silk Fox for now. Imperial Captain Ghost? Imperial Captain Ghost? Really? I don't remember you. Bit of a pushover though, aren't you? Pushover indeed. Even I didn't take a hit. 